was good louis here and welcome back to black foul so last episode we finished one of the quests and the next one was to get a totem of dawn now we can't really do this one yet so we need to do a few of these stuff and then I, and then it'll unlock it to do it somewhere hopefully because right now it's not anywhere but that's good because the golem the straw golem I already researched that, so I wouldn't have to, like, mess around with it. So we could just go right ahead and find the recipe and make it. But we could start doing this one. The golem. The straw golem. French horn and all that stuff. So that we could do this quest. And then we could probably do some of these other ones. Now that we know how to make them. Like the traveling trunk and stuff. I'll get the stuff to make the straw golem. Uh, or actually, we could check right now. See how exactly you need to make this so i don't know if we have to make the golem Messer's bell and the golem animation cores i'm thinking we do or maybe not all we need is hu humanus modus spiritus and then we get and then we throw in the hay bell and then we get a straw golem so i guess that's pretty quick hopefully i have something that has humanus or something but i don't think i do and I'm not quite sure what has it exactly, but what else did we need? We need Modus and Spiritus. Um, okay, so we don't have either. I'll look into what actually has those stuff that we need, and then I'll put them in here, and then we'll get them out. Okay, so I got all the materials I need. I get Modus from this, and Humanus from this, and I get the Spiritus from Soul Sand. But the only problem is I don't have that much soul sand. I only have the soul sand from my little nether wart farm over there, which is only like a little bit. It's only like eight blocks in total. So, and I don't, I can't really get any because I can't go to the nether. So yeah, this is the only way I can for right now. Um, let me see how much I got. I got four, but I can't take it out unless I have eight. Meanwhile, what I was also going to make is going to make this little, like, um, oops, not in here. Um, it's a jar where I could put the stuff in so I don't have to have them all in the little fial things. One, I think I'll make, I think I can make one more. Yeah. Okay, I have two. I don't know if I could take this out with it. Ooh, I can. What? That's awesome. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, I'll leave those in there, but the only thing is I'm going to have to throw the whole, the whole jar in there. Um, I'll move these out of the way. And I did get a third wand, the one that's in there, another gold one. And then I try to fill it up as most as I can. So I guess I won't be able to make um, two, just whatever with that. Spiritus in there. Oh no, I forgot the hay bell. The hay bell! I think I know how to make it. Yes, I got it. Run. And boom. I got a struggle. But the only thing is, I don't know how to take these out. Whoa. Oh, okay. Can I take it out? Oh, I guess not. This is going to have to spill all that goo. Okay, so I have the, the straw golem now. What was next? French horn, tiny potato. How do you get a tiny potato? I don't know if I have to craft it. Mana infusion. Um, I think that was... Whoops, what did I put away? I think it's inside the book. I think it's this one, Infusion. So I'll research the notes, and then once I have it ready, we can see if it's this or not. Okay, so I found the recipe. Uh, let me get to what I need. Uh, I think I have enough of everything. I hope so. Where is here it is? All right, 
it. There we go. We discovered it. Now we have it. I think this is the infusion thing that it that it was talk. Whoa, that we needed. Oh no, that's a runic matrix. Arcan pedestal, which those is one of the things we needed for the the dawn thing. Um, I don't know. These look cool though. Whoa. Chunk loader. I actually don't know how to get it. Okay, I'll look it up in a second and then I'll see how to make it. Okay, since the tiny potato thing is going to take a while and we're going to need a lot of stuff. I, mean, I just went ahead and got the stuff needed for the French horn, which needs brass. The French horn. Yeah, it needs brass and iron ingot. And the brass, um, I need to mix zinc with copper. I think it's one for one or two for one. I'm not sure which one I need more of, but copper, I don't have a lot of because the only way I could get it is from the supplier, from keep collecting from here. So hopefully there's enough to make a good amount of brass or at least enough brass to make the horn. And then for the, for the tiny potato, I'm not exactly too sure, but I'm going to make the infuser thing and once once this is done so I know exactly what I, what is that stone that's weird it should look like zinc or copper but anyways let's see oh yes we got some brass we got four ingots and we need we need five um I think I need see up I need some more some more copper Oh no, I got six. What? It took a while for it to process, I guess. But that's good. We have more now. We need five of this and then and then an iron ingot or not ingot. Nugget. And then the French horn is done. Okay, I got five, but I'm just gonna collect the rest that's in here. How much is left? Oh, it's all brass, nice. I think it is one one brass no one copper one zinc is one brass so that's good okay now we have this i don't know if i have to make it um in oh no that's just here i wasn't sure if i had to make it in the in the arcing workbench but we got that i think i'm just gonna turn in what i have right now just so that i don't have to be carrying it all with me Okay, so the tiny potato. The tiny potato, I need to make um, the infuser. The infusion thing. So I'm gonna need to make a runix, a runix matrix. I don't know, I think a few of these Arkham pedestals and then put it all together with some Arkham stone stone bricks and then it should end up looking something like this which is pretty crazy so yeah i'm gonna need four pedestals and then a lot of a lot of bricks so first off i think i have an ender pearl i don't know how do you get ender pearls if i haven't seen any endermen can you make one uh with Mm, you tight let me see how to make that okay so I can't make it I guess it's an ore in the nether or in the end so can't really make that um I, I think the only way to do it is by cleaning out clearing out an area and then having mobs spawn on it because over here in this little area out there there's like these little pillar things but it has it clears a little area and zombies spawn there so if a zombie can spawn there then i'm pretty sure um an enderman can spawn there so or first let me check if i don't have if i have any or do i have a 
Or I guess, yeah, we could tr try and get an Enderman spawner by the supplier. Since it gives you mobs and friendly mobs. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep trying that. And then hopefully we can get an Enderman spawner. Okay, so I finally got one. I also got, I think this one or this one are Blaze spawners and I could use it to get the the blaze rod which I think we need for some stuff but yeah I'll spawn him somewhere where he can't like leave so that we don't lose him and hopefully he drops one if he doesn't then <sighs> we're gonna have to try again and it took a while because there's a whole bunch of mobs so okay let's kill this fool please drop one Yes, we got one. Yes. Is that a... Oh, the cow's still down here. <laughs> All right, so we got the the ender pearl. Now... Now we can make the rest of the stuff. Let's see. So we need to get the shards. Arc and stone, stone block. I think I have some in here. I have two... I thought I had more. Oh yes, right here. So I have 11. Now we just need to get the shards. I'll use the blue ones. I'm pretty sure we have to put it in here. Let me just check how to make it again real quick. Okay. So this goes in here. Like that. Nice. And it takes, whoa, it takes 38 um, Ordo. Wow. Well, I guess it is an important block. You discovered of enchant enhanced thomium has unlocked more info in your materials book. Materials book? Okay. Um, so what is next? Next we gotta make the Arkham pedestals, which is pretty simple. Cost five air. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think I have enough to make four, because I need four. So yeah, and I don't even remember how to make them. Oh, just the colored stone and the shard inside. Do I still have leftover? <sighs> yep, I have a lot of leftover. Okay, and there we go. Now we got some more, because we'll need some for the other stuff too that we need to make. So actually, I think I'm gonna make them all if I have enough. Who knows, if I don't, then I'll make some more colored one and then get some more shards if I need more. Okay, so I got four of those. Now I need, I need, How do I make that thingy though? Unless that comes by itself? I don't know exactly how to use this. And then the floor, I don't know if it has to be made out of the arc and stone blocks that it shows in this picture. Um, and then those are the bricks right there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that just so that I don't have any problems with it. Okay. Now I need to figure out an area of where I'm gonna make this. Um, I might make it in another, in another like little biodome. Um, this, this one seems a little bit too dark. Yeah, I guess I could do it here. The sand isn't really that dark. Ooh, there's some, oh, I didn't know there was some of these here. Um, yeah, this, this area will do. So I'm gonna get this set up. Let's see. So it's seven by seven, I think. Yeah, it's seven by seven with stone bricks in the corners. I don't know if it matters if they're in the corners or not, but I'm just gonna follow it. Okay, so I had to go get some more materials to finish this off and I figured and I also read a little bit more on how to do it So it's supposed to look a little something like that 
and then of course just fill in these spots I don't think it actually matters what block it is just like these two right here matter and then that block up there just gotta fill it up and then after we done filling these up we right click the that the runic matrix we right click on it with a wand so i think it requires a specific it requires a specific amount of, res of resources so i'm just gonna right click it with the gold one hopefully this has it okay i don't think this one has enough does this one one second i don't know why it's not working okay so i did it the only thing um that i think that was in the way was the pedestals that were on the side i think you were confusing it with yeah it was just confusing it i think and that's why it didn't work i just broke them i was gonna test it out and then it actually worked so sorry i didn't get that recorded but yeah all that happened was i right clicked the block and it's just like all these like got um chiseled or crafted into this little thing it wasn't that really like animational but that's cool the little floating block so now I'm gonna look into how exactly to use this and how to make the little the potato into the tiny potato. So hopefully all this is for that. So yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so I pretty much messed up kind of bad. I mean, not really, but just in the sense that this is not what I needed to do to make the tiny potato. Instead, I need to make, um, this little thing this little mana pool and you drop in the potato and then it pops out with the little tiny one but the only problem is i just looked it up and it is a long process and i don't have the stuff for it and i don't really know how to get the stuff for it so i don't think we're at the point where we can do that yet but this is what we need to make this other cool stuff um this stuff right here we put in the materials we need on these little pedestals and then the main the main like i think for a sword you put a certain sword in there and then the materials the other materials you need outside and also i put some candles because i read that it helps from like this bad stuff happening it prevents it um also these little jars you need to put the aspects in here so like the vitium the Ordo and all that stuff in here, depending on what that item needs that you're gonna put in there and make. And then you just put them in here and then it like sucks it in one at a time and stuff like that. So that's where that is. And so I don't know how we're gonna do these other stuff because I also looked in on doing these stuff, but it's like, there's no, it's like too, too far away from where we're at. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. And we also need three tiny potatoes, not just one, three. So yeah, I think I'm not, I'm just not gonna do this quest. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, or try to make some of this, these stuff, these cool tools. But I think I'm gonna do that in the next episode. So if this episode is kind of like weird, just, I don't know. I'm not really too much into Thomcraft and stuff yet. So I don't know a lot of stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.